Hello and welcome from Mary Lou Retton Park where tonight's matchup between the Polar Bears of Fairmont Senior and the Colts of Philip Barber. I'm Eli Brady here to take you through the action tonight. Both teams come into this game at 1-0. Philip Barber had a win Tuesday against Grafton 11-6 and last Wednesday the Polar Bears were able to defeat Cameron 7 to nothing off a great performance from pitcher Sammy Vianney who had a complete no-hitter with 15 strikeouts and only one walk allowed. He is one walk away from a perfect game. We'll have the starting lineups when we return here on Video Productions. I'm Keith Powell and going on right now is my Keith Says Yes Fest. I'm saying yes to lowering your payments, yes to your trade-in, regardless of condition, miles, even if you're still making payments. My Keith Says Yes credit approval process helps me say yes, you're approved. So if you want new Chevys, yes! New Fords, yes. Lifetime warranty, yes. Come see me, Keith Powell at Yes Chevy and Hurricane and Yes Ford in Huntington. An injury at any age can be a game changer. But with walk-in clinics Monday through Saturday, the Marshall Sports Medicine Institute is ready to get you off the bench and back in the game. Marshall Sports Medicine Institute takes care of the herd. Let us take care of you. Hi, this is Meredith Mayer from Fairmont, West Virginia, and when I'm back home, you can find me at my local Parmar store. We have that thundering herd pride at your local Parmar stores. We are over 200 stores strong and growing. Download the Parmar app for even more savings and sign up for the Parmar rewards card. Whether it's food, gas, or groceries, we have you covered. We are Marshall and we are Parmar stores. If there's not a Parmar store near you now, there will be soon. Sandwiches, better with Pepsi. <sighs> Since 1965, the team at City Construction has been an industry leader in all facets of construction, shaping the West Virginia landscape with some of the most recognizable commercial projects throughout the state. As one of the largest general contractors in North Central West Virginia, our outstanding record of quality workmanship and personal service is here for your next project. Call our team of experts today. Give us the opportunity to design build your next project. City Construction Company, West Virginia proud since 1965. Mm. Sandwiches, better with Pepsi. An injury at any age can be a game changer, but with walk-in clinics Monday through Saturday, the Marshall Sports Medicine Institute is ready to get you off the bench and back in the game. Marshall Sports Medicine Institute takes care of the herd. Let us take care of you. I'm Keith Powell, and going on right now is my Keith Says Yes Fest. I'm saying yes to lowering your payments, yes to your trade-in, regardless of condition, miles, even if you're still making payments. My Keith Says Yes credit approval process helps me say yes, you're approved. So if you want new Chevys, yes. New Fords, yes. Lifetime warranty, yes. Come see me, Keith Powell at Yes Chevy and Hurricane and Yes Ford in Huntington. Hi, my name is Zach Frazier and I'm from Fairmont, West Virginia. And when I'm back at home in Fairmont, you'll find me at my local Parmar store. We had that gold and blue pride at Parmar. There are literally hundreds of Parmar stores in West Virginia, Kentucky, Ohio, and Pennsylvania, and even more on the way. Download the Parmar app to save even more. And whether it's food, gas, groceries, or whatever, we have you covered at Parmar. West Virginia proud and ready to serve you. If there's not a Parmar store near you now, there will be soon. An injury at any age can be a game changer, but with walk-in clinics Monday through Saturday, the Marshall Sports Medicine Institute is ready to get you off the bench and back in the game. Marshall Sports Medicine Institute takes care of the herd. Let us take care of you. Mm. Sandwiches, better with Pepsi. Welcome back to Mary Lou Retton Park. First pitch shortly coming. Um, it's 44 degrees here, game time weather. 
got winds of six miles per hour shouldn't be a big problem for these teams tonight uh, it's really the best weather all week we've had Tuesday there's supposed to be a game against Lewis County that was postponed to tomorrow so we'll be back here tomorrow night same deal yesterday we had winds over 40 miles per hour and just big gusts of winds we got starting lineups for Philip Barber, the batting order. Go in. Kale Wolf will lead them off, followed by Nick Gonzalez, Landon Carpenter, the freshman, batting third. Sisson, Tyler Sisson, batting fourth. Albert Gonzalez, batting fifth. Kent Rowan, batting sixth. Freshman Anthony Macesso in seventh. Grant Harris, the junior, in eighth. And rounding off the batting order is Slayton Harris, another freshman in ninth for the polar bears leading off will be cam peschel a junior followed by sammy viani who had that great pitching performance against cameron a week ago hayden jones in third followed by logan canfield and then brody whitehair blake straight will bat sixth followed by ethan miller and then Braden gorby and dylan hours we'll take another break still got the national anthem yet to come and then the first pitch will be underway shortly here on Video Productions. I'm Keith Powell, and going on right now is my Keith Says Yes Fest. I'm saying yes to lowering your payments, yes to your trade-in, regardless of condition, miles, even if you're still making payments. My Keith Says Yes credit approval process helps me say yes, you're approved. So if you want new Chevys, yes. New Fords, yes. Lifetime warranty, yes. Come see me, Keith Powell, at Yes Chevy and Hurricane, and Yes Ford in Huntington. An injury at any age can be a game changer. But with walk-in clinics Monday through Saturday, the Marshall Sports Medicine Institute is ready to get you off the bench and back in the game. Marshall Sports Medicine Institute takes care of the herd. Let us take care of you. Hi, this is Meredith Mayer from Fairmont, West Virginia. And when I'm back home, you can find me at my local Parmar store. We have that thundering herd pride at your local Parmar stores. We are over 200 stores strong and growing. Download the Parmar app for even more savings and sign up for the Parmar rewards card. Whether it's food, gas, or groceries, we have you covered. We are Marshall and we are Parmar stores. If there's not a Parmar store near you now, there will be soon. Sandwiches, better with Pepsi. <sighs> Since 1965, the team at City Construction has been an industry leader in all facets of construction, shaping the West Virginia landscape with some of the most recognizable commercial projects throughout the state. As one of the largest general contractors in North Central West Virginia, our outstanding record of quality workmanship and personal service is here for your next project. Call our team of experts today. Give us the opportunity to design build your next project. City Construction Company, West Virginia proud since 1965. Here at the Cracker Barrel, home style food and great value go hand in hand with favorites like slow simmered chicken and dumplings starting at $7.99 or perfectly golden fluffy buttermilk pancakes with your own bottle of warm syrup. Come fill up on favorites without emptying your wallet. Cracker Barrel. Take care now. Welcome you back to Mary Lou Retton Park. We're just about ready to get underway. Starting on the mound today for the Polar Bears again is Sammy Vianney. 
who pitched last week in the first game of the season here against Cameron where the Polar Bears won 7 nothing, and what a performance Vianney put on both on the mound and at the plate. 15 strikeouts, a complete game, no hitter from the mound. At the plate, he's batting 1,000 this season. Leading off for Phillip Barber is sophomore Kale Wolf against Grafton. Kale Wolf did go to the mound. He had three innings pitched, four strikeouts, allowed four hits and an earned run at the plate. He had five plate appearances, one hit, two runs, two RBIs, and a stolen base. So two big forces facing off here on the first pitch. Players getting ready to warm up. Vanny getting his practice pitches in. Polar Bears throwing it around the field. In the field for the Polar Bears today, we have Vianney on the mound. His catcher, Ethan Miller. Hayden Jones is on first base. Blake Strait at second. Brody Whitehair at shortstop. Cam Peschel starting at third. In left field is Dylan Hours. Logan Canfield starting in center field. And Braden Gorby will start in right field. Again, the weather here, it's not ideal. It is a bit chilly in the low 40s, but it's probably the best weather of the week so far. Dealt with a lot of rain, big winds, some snow even, ice. It's been up and down, typical West Virginia weather. And here comes Kale Wolf up to the plate, and we're just about ready to get this thing going. Kale Wolf is a fast player. He had a stolen base against Grafton on Tuesday. Vianney deals the first pitch. Called strike one. Wolf, the lefty, ready. Here's the second pitch. That one's low for ball one. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Inside for ball two. Again, Vianney missed last season. Last time he pitched was his sophomore year. He's coming back this year as a senior. Trying to lead the Polar Bears to a state championship. Their first in program history. They have yet to win one. Nine runner-ups, zero state championships. And the road starts here. Here's the 2-1. That one fouled back by Wolf. Here's the 2-2. That one grounded to the shortstop Whitehair. Fields at the throw to Jones. Is in time for the out. Take a look at the replay here. Only just a slow ball right to Whitehair. Routine play. Brody scoops it, throws it. Nick Gonzalez up now for Philip Barber. Vanny leaves that one high for ball one. High again for ball two. Nick Gonzalez didn't get a hit, but he scored twice and got an RBI. That one's a called strike. Swing and a miss by Gonzalez. It's 2-2. Vianney deals. High. Ball three. The count is full. That one low for ball four. And Vianney has walked just the second batter faced of the year. Again, 15 strikeouts against Cameron. 
and Gonzalez is on base. The freshman Landon Carpenter comes to the plate. He had a really good game against Grafton. Two hits, a run, and an RBI. He also got the win on the mound. Three innings pitched, five strikeouts. Here's Vianney. Right down the middle for a strike one. Vianney throws the pickoff attempt at first, and it was just a little late. Wolf is very fast. He can steal bases at any moment. Vianney looks, deals. That one fouled back. Brings up an 0-2 count. And we have a little pause, a second. And we're ready as Carpenter steps back into the box. Vianney deals. Just outside. Ball one. That one inside for ball two. So he had an 0-2 count. Now 2-2 two -two to Carpenter. Again, Wolf on first. Not a very big leadoff. Vianney deals. That one outside, ball three. So two straight strikes to start off. He's throwing three straight balls. And the throw to first is in time as he picks off Kale Wolf. Again, we'll take a look at the replay. Said Kale Wolf was fast. Ethan Miller caught him in between first and second for the out. Full count. Swing and a miss. Carpenter strikes out. And that will end the top of the first inning. Due up for the Polar Bears. When we come back is Peschel, Vianney, and Hayden Jones. You're watching live streaming coverage of Fairmont Senior Polar Bear Baseball on Video Productions. Hi, this is Meredith Mayer from Fairmont, West Virginia, and when I'm back home, you can find me at my local Parmar store. We have that thundering herd pride at your local Parmar stores. We are over 200 stores strong and growing. Download the Parmar app for even more savings and sign up for the Parmar rewards card. Whether it's food, gas, or groceries, we have you covered. We are Marshall and we are Parmar stores. If there's not a Parmar store near you now, there will be soon. Here at the Cracker Barrel, homestyle food and great value go hand in hand with favorites like slow simmered chicken and dumplings starting at $7.99 or perfectly golden fluffy buttermilk pancakes with your own bottle of warm syrup. Come fill up on favorites without emptying your wallet. Cracker Barrel, take care now. Welcome back to Mary Lou Retton Park. Top of the first inning already over. And much like last week, Sammy Vianney put a batter on base. He walked him and then gets picked off. Wasn't the very next pitch, but top three batters all got out. Now up for Fairmont Senior is Cam Peschel. Vianney had 17 pitches there in the first inning. He had 85 in all seven innings against Cameron. Warming up for Philip Barber on the mound. Their starting pitcher is Albert Gonzalez. His catcher, Tyler Sisson. First baseman, Anthony Macesso. Slayton Harris at second. Landon Carpenter, the freshman, starting at shortstop. Nick Gonzalez at third base. Dayton Morrison out in left field. Kale Wolf starting in center field. And Kent Rowan in right field. Cam Peschel coming up to the plate, now a three-sport athlete at Fairmont Senior. He played football. He was a kicker, played a big part in that state championship win over North Marion, seven for seven in extra points, plays soccer, and he plays baseball here. 
Bubble Barber finishes their routine pitching. Peschel just about ready to step into the plate. Peschel comes to the plate. Gonzalez deals inside for ball one. Had a stoppage here for a second. Special steps back into the plate and we're ready to go. The count is 1-0. Gonzalez deals. Inside and Peschel ducks out of the way. It's ball two. A season ago, Cam Peschel led the team in stolen bases with, he had 21. It's tied actually for the lead in stolen bases. So he's fast. You don't want him on if you're Philip Barber. That one is popped up and foul. Peschel steps back in. Batted 381 a season ago. The count is 2-1. Gonzalez deals. Oh, called strike there right on the outside of the strike zone. Umpire saw it inside. It was really close. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. That one up high. Ball three. Gonzalez thought he got him there. Umpire called... A ball is that one was up high. Last two pitches have been very close to the outside of that strike zone, and the count is full. Gonzalez. Low, and that one bounces to the wall, and he walks special. So Peschel is on. Cam Peschel had a stolen base in the game against Cameron, so you got to watch that if you're Albert Gonzalez. He's very good. Now up to the plate is Sammy Vianney, starting pitcher. He's batting 1,000 on the season. Had three hits and a double last week against Cameron. Gonzalez deals that one down the middle for strike one. Really dangerous top of the lineup here. Here's the pickoff attempt on Peschel, and it's late. Gonzalez trying to keep him honest. He knows he can run. He's fast, plays soccer. Gonzalez ready. Deals. Inside. Ball dropped by the catcher Tyler Sisson. Peschel stays put on first and the count is 1-1. Gonzalez checks first. Peschel has a decent lead. Deals the 1-1. That one's hit into play and Chance at a double play. They get Peschel at second. Vianney's on first. So the Colts are able to get Peschel out, the leadoff runner. But Vianney is able to make it safely to first base. Thought that one had a chance for a second. It bounced high. Peschel almost made it there.
Vianney's on first. He's got a lead. Hayden Jones at the plate. Gonzalez deals. That one down the middle for strike one. Hayden Jones stands in, awaits Gonzalez. Swing and a miss for strike two, and Jones is down in the count. Hayden Jones a week ago had a hit, a run, and a stolen base against Cameron. Gonzalez checks first. Here's the 0-2, and that one's high. For ball one, almost tagged Jones. He's up at his head. Vianney thought about taking off. Stays put on first. One out. The count is one, two, runner on first. Jones waits. Gonzalez deals the one, two. Called strike three on Jones. And that, that one looked low. Take a look at the replay. See the frame by frame. Nice pitch by Gonzalez, and that's right there. It's right on the edge of that zone, but I understand the call. And time called by the ump. That'll bring Logan Canfield up to the plate with two outs. Runner on first is Vianney. And in for Vianney on first is Tyler Veltri. So Vianney goes back to the dugout with two outs. Logan Canfield up to bat. He had two hits in RBI, two stolen bases a week ago. Here's the pickoff attempt on Veltri, not in time. Tyler Veltri getting aggressive, gets in for Vianney. Gets a big lead off on first. Canfield awaits. That one high for ball one. Gonzalez checks Veltri at first. And he deals. And that one a called strike. Looked inside. And time called by the ump. Pause in the game. On deck is Brody Whitehair. After this, if Canfield's able to get on base. Veltri with a decent lead on first. Gonzalez deals. That one curves to the wall. Veltri takes off to second. He's going to get there with ease. So Tyler Veltri moves up to second on wild pitch. So that one was high for ball two. Gonzalez on a pass ball. That one went to the wall, and Veltri slid in with plenty of time to second. Able to get a big lead there. No threat of a pickoff. Here's the pitch. That one down the middle for strike two to Canfield. So, 2-2 two -two count. Gonzalez trying to put the inning away here without letting anything bad happen for the Colts. Now a shortstop behind Veltri, directly behind him. Looks, now he gets back into position. Gonzalez deals the 2-2. That one is into center field. And underneath it, making the catch is Kale Wolf, and that'll end the inning. So, no score here at the end of the first inning. It's 0-0 from Mary Lou Retton Park. You're watching live streaming coverage of Fairmont Senior Polar Bear Baseball 
on video productions. I'm Keith Powell, and going on right now is my Keith Says Yes Fest. I'm saying yes to lowering your payments, yes to your trade-in, regardless of condition, miles, even if you're still making payments. My Keith Says Yes credit approval process helps me say yes, you're approved. So if you want new Chevys, yes! New Fords, yes! Lifetime warranty, yes! Come see me, Keith Powell, at Yes Chevy and Hurricane, and Yes Ford in Huntington. An injury at any age can be a game changer. But with walk-in clinics Monday through Saturday, the Marshall Sports Medicine Institute is ready to get you off the bench and back in the game. Marshall Sports Medicine Institute takes care of the herd. Let us take care of you. Hi, this is Meredith Mayer from Fairmont, West Virginia. And when I'm back home, you can find me at my local Parmar store. We had that thundering herd pride at your local Parmar stores. We are over 200 stores strong and growing. Download the Parmar app for even more savings and sign up for the Parmar rewards card. Whether it's food, gas, or groceries, we have you covered. We are Marshall and we are Parmar stores. If there's not a Parmar store near you now, there will be soon. Sandwiches, better with Pepsi. <sighs> Since 1965, the team at City Construction has been an industry leader in all facets of construction, shaping the West Virginia landscape with some of the most recognized... Welcome you back to Mary Lou Retton Park. Up to bat is Tyler Sisson for Philip Barber, and we're getting right into it. Vianney deals that one high for ball one. The 1-0 in the dirt for ball two. Sammy Vianney going up-tempo now on Sisson. Pitch number 20 right down the middle for strike one. He went to the curve. Sisson ready. Vianney deals. There's a hit. And it's picked up by straight throw to Jones in time for the out. Another easy play for the Polar Bear fielders. Blake Strait picks it up. Easy throw to Hayden Jones. And one down for Phillip Barber. Now the pitcher, Albert Gonzalez, to face Vianney. That one on a strike. In the dirt, ball one. Pitcher versus pitcher here. Vianney for Fairmont. Gonzalez for Philip Barber. And the 1-1 one -one from Vianney. That one is popped high. In center field, Logan Canfield makes the catch for the out. That one had a lot of distance on it for how high it was. It carried far. Now batting, number 10. Canfield out in center field. Goes over and makes the catch. Two away. Vianney deals. That one called strike one. Batter is Kent Rowan. That one down low for ball one. Kent Rowan had five plate appearances against Grafton on Tuesday. Three hits, a run, an RBI, and a double. Vianney deals. That one in the dirt. Ball two. Vianney keeping it a lot more up-tempo than he was in the first inning. Swing and a miss by Rowan. It's 2-2. Two -two. And still, yet on the season, Vianney has yet to give up a hit. 2-2, two, two, two outs, nobody on. Swing and a miss. Rowan strikes out, and 1-2-3. This inning is over just like that. The bottom of the second coming up. Due up for Fairmont Sr. is Brody Whitehair, Blake Strait, and Ethan Miller when we return on Video Productions. I'm Keith Powell, and going on right now is my Keith Says Yes Fest. 
I'm saying yes to lowering your payments, yes to your trade-in, regardless of condition, miles, even if you're still making payments. My Keith Says Yes credit approval process helps me say yes, you're approved. So if you want new Chevys, yes. New Fords, yes. Lifetime warranty, yes. Come see me, Keith Powell, at Yes Chevy and Hurricane and Yes Ford in Huntington. An injury at any age can be a game changer. But with walk-in clinics Monday through Saturday, the Marshall Sports Medicine Institute is ready to get you off the bench and back in the game. Marshall Sports Medicine Institute takes care of the herd. Let us take care of you. Hi, this is Meredith Mayer from Fairmont, West Virginia. And when I'm back home, you can find me at my local Parmar store. We have that thundering herd pride at your local Parmar stores. We are over 200 stores strong and growing. Download the Parmar app for even more savings and sign up for the Parmar Rewards Card. Whether it's food, gas, or groceries, we have you covered. We are Marshall and we are Parmar Stores. If there's not a Parmar store near you now, there will be soon. Sandwiches, better with Pepsi. <sighs> Since 1965, the team at City Construction has been an industry leader in all facets of construction, shaping the West Virginia landscape with some of the most recognizable commercial projects throughout the state. As one of the largest general contractors in North Central West Virginia, our outstanding record of quality workmanship and personal service is here for your next project. Call our team of experts today. Give us the opportunity to design and build your next project. City Construction Company, West Virginia proud since 1965. Went back to Mary Lou Retton Park. Pitch from Gonzalez to Brody Whitehair is in the dirt for ball one. Whitehair, of course, the quarterback of the football team. Led the Polar Bears to a state championship win this season. Take strike one. Week ago, Brody Whitehair was walked three times, had a steal, and four plate appearances. Gonzalez deals. That one is hit and bobbled by the second baseman, and the throw to Macesso is in time. Now Slayton Harris, who bobbled it for a second, he was able to pick it up and get it to his first baseman, Macesso, just in time. That was close. Brody's very fast. Close play at first. It'll bring up Blake Straight. Gonzalez deals that one way high. That one over the ump's head, catcher's head. Ball one. One ball, no strikes, one out, nobody on. Gonzalez deals to straight. I called strike one right on the outside edge of the strike zone. Gonzalez deals. That one had some curve to it. Strike two. Looked like it was going to be inside again, but it curved right into the strike zone. One, two to straight. Gonzalez deals. Swing and a miss. Straight strikes out, and it's two away on the inning. That'll bring up number four, Ethan Miller, senior. Plays catcher. That one is close to hitting Miller. He ducked out of the way in time. It's another pitch by Gonzalez. First one just gets away from him. Last one almost ended up in the press box. This one almost hit Miller as he deals the second one. 
That one's down the middle, but it's a bit high for ball one. Or ball two. Count is 2-0 with two out, nobody on. Here's Gonzalez. That one swung on and hit by Miller. It is picked up by Nick Gonzalez and throw to Maceso in time for the out. That will end the second inning. No runs scored in this one. When we come back, Polar Bears will be, or the Colts will be up to bat on video productions. Sandwiches, better with Pepsi. An injury at any age can be a game changer. But with walk-in clinics Monday through Saturday, the Marshall Sports Medicine Institute is ready to get you off the bench and back in the game. Marshall Sports Medicine Institute takes care of the herd. Let us take care of you. I'm Keith Powell, and going on right now is my Keith Says Yes Fest. I'm saying yes to lowering your payments, yes to your trade-in, regardless of condition, miles, even if you're still making payments. My Keith Says Yes credit approval process helps me say yes, you're approved. So if you want new Chevys, yes. New Fords, yes. Lifetime warranty, yes. Come see me, Keith Powell at Yes Chevy and Hurricane and Yes Ford in Huntington. Welcome back to Mary Lou Retton Park, getting ready for the top of the third inning. And a little change in positions. Tyler Veltri comes in at catcher for Ethan Miller. Nope. Just warming up, and they switch him back to Miller. Getting a little rotation going at catcher. So Miller is back. Vianney's still on the mound. He started a week ago against Cameron. Pitched all seven innings. Didn't allow a hit. Hasn't allowed a hit in this game. And you got to think, Polaris have a filled schedule coming up five games in five days they're here tomorrow night against lewis county they have a double header on the road both games on saturday and they're back here against crosstown rival east fairmont on monday now and you got to think Anthony in a big game against the bees you want vianney starting Massesso comes to the plate vianney deals right down the middle for strike one Only one base runner allowed from the Polar Bears today. That was Nick Gonzalez back in the first. That one inside for ball one. Just up high for ball two. Thirty two pitches on the day for Vienni. This is his thirty third and it's right down the middle for strike two. Two two count, nobody on, nobody out. And that one's a little low, and the count is full. Again, Vienni has not allowed a hit this season. Just two walks, and both those walks have eventually been picked off. Here's the three two in the dirt, and that's his third base runner allowed of the season. And that's Massesso on first. Now batting number two, Grant Morris. Grant Harris comes in. Deals that one down the middle for strike one. DH, Grant Harris. Not in the field today. Vanny took some heat off that one. Tried to get it to curve in, but he missed. It's ball one. Base runner on first is Massesso. That one down the middle for strike two. A good pitch by Vianney right there. Nobody out. Massesso on first. Swing and a miss, and they try to throw to first. 
a little bit low. And so Harris strikes out. Misesso still on first. That brings up Slayton Harris, a freshman. When you look at the lineups for these two teams, for Fairmont, it's pretty much all upperclassmen. Philip Barber's got a mix of about every class. Landon Carpenter, a freshman at the plate now. Slayton Harris, also a freshman. Count is 0-1. Be any deals. Check swing and didn't go. Ball one. Misesso on first. He was walked by Vianney. That one outside for ball two. One out, one on. 2-1 count, Vianney deals, up high, ball three. So Vianney behind in the count, 3-1 to Slayton Harris. Deals that one down the middle. Makes the count full again. He's walked two batters in this game. Both of them have been on full counts. Let's see if he's able to get a strikeout or get an out at least here. Here's the 3-2. Just outside for ball four. So two are on now. And here comes Coach Peschel out to the mound. Going to talk to Vianney. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll finish out the top of the third inning. You're watching live streaming coverage of Fairmont Senior Polar Bear Baseball on Video Productions. I'm Keith Powell, and going on right now is my Keith Says Yes Fest. I'm saying yes to lowering your payments, yes to your trade-in, regardless of condition, miles, even if you're still making payments. My Keith Says Yes credit approval process helps me say yes you're approved. So if you want new Chevys, yes! New Fords, yes! Lifetime warranty. We welcome you back to Mary Lou Retton Park. No pitching change, just to talk to Vianney and Peschel returns to the dugout. He's got 45 pitches in two and a half innings. And back to the top of the lineup we go. Kale Wolf grounded out in the first. Had a big game against Grafton, that 11-6 win. And there's a strike by Vianney. So we got two on, only one out. Phillip Barber in scoring position. Trying to score the first run against Fairmont this season. And that one is hit. Base hit. And bobbled in left field by Hours. And Philip Barber is not going to score Misesso. Had a chance. Hours bobbled it out in left field. So that will load the bases up. As you can see Misesso, he stopped coming around third. He had a chance to go home. Didn't take it. And the bases are loaded. Nick Gonzalez... Walked in the first. Swing and a miss. Strike one. And right there, that was the first hit given up by Vianney this season. And the bases are loaded. Philip Barber trying to put points on the board first. Vianney deals. That one popped up high. Vianney charging it and goes out of play. But he gets the count to 0-2. And that's where you need the count. With the bases loaded, only one out. A walk, a hit, and a sacrifice. Anything right here for Philip Barber. They're in an ideal position. Misesso on third. Trying to put the first run on the board. Harris on second. Kill Wolf on first. Vianney deals. The 0-2 just outside and down low for ball one.
Big pitch right here. Pitch number 51 for Vianney in this game. The one, two, up high. And Phillip Barber is not going to take a chance as it gets by Miller for ball two. So Polar Bear's in a little bit of trouble right here. If he can get this out right here, 2-2 count. Might be able to relax a little bit but with only one out. Things looking good for Phillip Barber. They haven't been aggressive yet. Vianney deals a 2-2 down low, and the count is full. He's had a full count a lot in this game, and he hasn't been able to strike someone out on a full count. Can he do it here? Vianney deals that one. Called strike three. Cool as a cucumber for Vianney. Full count, bases loaded. He puts it right on the edge of the strike zone. Up to the plate is freshman Landon Carpenter. Can Carpenter put the first run on the board for Philip Barber? Up high. That's ball two. Vianney. Had 85 pitches against Cameron. He's got 55 now. That one in the dirt. Trapped by Miller. Didn't let it get it behind him. And the count is 3-0. And the perfect position for Phillip Barber to put a run on the board. Bases loaded. Two outs. 3-0 count. Vianney deals right down the middle. If you're Carpenter, you almost have to watch that one, no matter where it is. Just hope for a called ball. That one right down the middle for strike two. Vianney's run back to the dugout twice in this inning. It's not over yet. Count is full again. He's able to strike it out on a full count last time. Runners go. That one grounded foul right behind Ethan Miller. Vianney returns to the mound with the count full. Bases loaded. Two outs to Carpenter. Ball four. Colts on the board. It's one nothing. Phillip Barber. As Vianney walks him with the bases loaded. We'll take a look at that pitch. Now batting number three, Tyler Sisson. Yeah, that one. Outside, down low. Just missed it. And that one, thought it was a strike. It was not. So Macessa was the one that walked in. And there is a hit. And it is caught by Blake Strait. The second baseman makes a great catch to end the inning. Minimal damage. It's one nothing. Phillip Barber. Polar Bears up to bat after this. We'll take a look at that catch made by Strait. It was hit to him. Sometimes that can be a tough play, but he caught it. Bottom of the third coming up when we return on Video Productions. Sandwiches, better with Pepsi. An injury at any age can be a game changer. But with walk-in clinics Monday through Saturday, the Marshall Sports Medicine Institute is ready to get you off the bench and back in the game. Marshall Sports Medicine Institute takes care of the herd. Let us take care of you. I'm Keith Powell, and going on right now is my Keith Says Yes Fest. I'm saying yes to lowering your payments, yes to your trade-in, regardless of condition, miles, even if you're still making payments. My Keith Says Yes credit approval process helps me say yes, you're approved. So if you want new Chevys, yes. New Fords, yes. Lifetime warranty, yes. Come see me, Keith Powell at Yes Chevy and Hurricane and Yes Ford in Huntington. 
We welcome you back to Mary Lou Ratton Park. Polar Bears up to bat. Braden Gorby lead off this inning, followed by Dylan Hours and Cam Peschel. Gonzalez still on the mound for Phillip Barber, and you look at the pitch count difference. 62 for Vianney, 28 for Gonzalez. So Albert Gonzalez has done a really well job, really good job. Keeping his pitch count low, only Tyler Veltri has advanced to base after being on. Now he's got a pitch to Braden Gorby. That one, called strike one. Gonzalez waits. The 0 1 inside. Ball one. Braden Gorby. A week ago against Cameron. Two plate appearances. Scored a run in that 7 2 0 shutout win over the Dragons. He looks at a 1 1 from Gonzalez up high. Ball two. So Gonzalez not nearly as up-tempo as Vianney, but he's been under great control in this game. That one down the middle for strike two, and the count is 2-2 on Gorby. Nobody on, nobody out. Count is 2-2. Gonzalez deals. Up high inside. The count is full to Gorby. If you're Fairmont, gotta want a base runner on with nobody out here. Trailing one nothing to the Colts. The three two from Gonzalez. Called strike three on Gorby. So Gorby strikes out looking. We'll take a look at that pitch. Uh, just up high, but the pitcher did a really good job of framing the ball, brought it right back to the center. The ump called a strike. Dylan Hours steps in to bat. One of the greatest athletes in the state. And he grounds this one. It is picked up by Gonzalez. The throw to first, no. Gonzalez couldn't hang on to it. And Hours is on with a hit. You see Gonzalez going over to pick it up, and he couldn't get it out of the grass. And Hours gets to first. So one on, one out. Cam Peschel comes back. Was walked in the first inning. Here's a pickoff attempt on Hours, and it's not in time. Again, Peschel was walked in the first. Was out at second on a fielder's choice. Gonzalez deals. That one almost tagged Peschel inside for ball one. Hours on first with a massive leadoff. Gonzalez deals right down the middle. Strike one. Again, I mentioned Dylan Hours is one of the best athletes in the state. Dominated his four years in football, dominated in wrestling. Decided to play baseball in his senior season. Gonzalez, that one's outside. Hours is thinking about it. He's getting a really big lead. Scored six touchdowns in a state championship game against North Marion. And you know who... Kicked the extra points and made them on all six. Cam Peschel is at the plate now. 2-1 count. Gonzalez deals up high. Ball three. The Polar Bears in good position with one on, one out. Count 3-1 to Peschel. Albert Gonzalez, the pitcher.
That one up high. Ball four. Two on now for Fairmont. And catcher Tyler Sisson comes out to have a chat with Albert Gonzalez. He's allowed two base runners now. For the second time this game, Peschel has walked the base by ball. And now another pitcher versus pitcher matchup. Vianney at the plate, Gonzalez at the mound. We've got two on, Hours on second, Peschel on first. Vianney at the plate. Vianney reached first on a fielder's choice in the first inning. Now at the bottom of the third. Has hours in scoring position. Gonzalez, that one called strike one. Oh, one count. One out, two on. Gonzalez fires. Vianney looked a bunt there, pulled back, and it's called ball. Count now one and one. Only one out. Polar Bears in scoring position. Hours with a big leadoff on second. Vianney would like to try to get him to scamper home. That one up high for ball two. Two one count. Gonzalez checks second. He deals. That one called ball three. So another three one count for Fairmont. Trying to load the bases up just like Philip Barber did at the top of the third. A hit by Hours. Peschel was walked and Vianney. And we got a balk. So things weren't looking good to Philip Barber to begin with. And then Gonzalez drops the ball while on the mound. That's a balk. And so Hours gets to third. Peschel on second. Vianney has a 3 1 count. Gonzalez deals. And he walks him. Bases loaded. And here comes Hayden Jones. Now batting number 24, Hayden Jones. So back-to-back -back walks thrown by Gonzalez, and here come the Colts to meet around him. We'll see if they change pitchers or if he's just trying to talk it over. Again, Hours is on third. Peschel, base runner on second. Vianney on first. And Hayden Jones comes up. It's been a while since we've had a grand slam in polar bear baseball. Hayden Jones hit two home runs a season ago. <laughs> home run here would be pretty big. So just a quick meet for Philip Barber. Gonzalez stays on the mound. See if he can close out this inning without allowing a run, and he's going to need to dial in to do that. With the strength of the polar bear lineup, three, three batter, Hayden Jones at the plate. Bases loaded. Only one out. And that one's popped foul by Jones. Hayden Jones struck out in the first. Has a chance to get some runs on the board here. Count is 0-1. Coach Peschel yelled out, if it's in the air, they're tagging, trying to get a sacrifice. That one is popped foul, same spot again by Hayden Jones. And he's down on the count 0-2 for the second time. Only one out. Polar Bears trail 1-0 to the Colts of Phillip Barber. But in great position here with the bases loaded. Gonzalez back on the mound. Deals the 0-2 over Jones' head and a great play by Sisson to come down with it and not allow a runner to come in. That one was behind Jones and over his head. 
Sisson makes a great play there. Because if that gets to the backstop, Dylan Hours is coming in. Gonzalez deals the one, two. This is swung on and popped straight up. And it is dropped. And the throw to the plate is safe. Hours is in. And an error by Landon Carpenter. Take a look at the replay again. So it's popped straight up. The sun is shining here at Mary Lou Retton Park. Carpenter dropped it. Hayden Jones is out to the infield fly roll. But Hours comes in and ties it 1-1. Got runners on first and second. Cam Peschel on third. Odd play that scores Dylan Hours. We talked about the pitch count difference. It was over 30 coming into this inning. Because that one's inside. And now it's evening back up. 62 for Vianney, 51 for Gonzalez. He just can't get out of this inning. And the count is 2-0 to Logan Canfield. Canfield hits it, caught by Carpenter, and this time he hangs on for the out. And that'll end the third inning, top of the fourth, coming up when we return here on Video Productions. Hi, my name's Zach Frazier, and I'm from Fairmont, West Virginia. And when I'm back at home in Fairmont, you'll find me at my local Parmar store. We had that gold of pride at Parmar. There are literally hundreds of Parmar stores in West Virginia, Kentucky, Ohio, and Pennsylvania, and even more on the way. Download the Parmar app to save even more. And whether it's food, gas, groceries, or whatever, we have you covered at Parmar. West Virginia proud and ready to serve you. If there's not a Parmar store near you now, there will be soon. An injury at any age can be a game changer. But with walk-in clinics Monday through Saturday, the Marshall Sports Medicine Institute is ready to get you off the bench and back in the game. Marshall Sports Medicine Institute takes care of the herd. Let us take care of you. Sandwiches. Better with Pepsi. I'm Keith Powell, and going on right now is my Keith Says Yes Fest. I'm saying yes to lowering your payments, yes to your trade-in, regardless of condition, miles, even if you're still making payments. My Keith Says Yes credit approval process helps me say yes, you're approved. So if you want new Chevys, yes. New Fords, yes. Lifetime warranty, yes. Come see me, Keith Powell, at Yes Chevy and Hurricane and Yes Ford in Huntington. An injury at any age can be a game changer. But with walk-in clinics Monday through Saturday, the Marshall Sports Medicine Institute is ready to get you off the bench and back in the game. Marshall Sports Medicine Institute takes care of the herd. Let us take care of you. Hi, this is Meredith Mayer from Fairmont, West Virginia. And when I'm back home, you can find me at my local Parmar store. We have that thundering herd pride at your local Parmar store. Welcome you back to Mary Lou Retton Park. Watch the replay of that catch by Landon Carpenter that ended the inning. That's really a good hit. If that gets over Carpenter, that could score multiple runs. And we've got a little change in the field. On the mound now for the Polar Bears. For the first time this season, someone not named Sammy Vianney. It's Braden Gorby. Ahead 0-2 in the count to Tyler Sisson. That went up high for ball one. Gorby deals the one, two, that one in the dirt. Goes behind catcher Ethan Miller.
That one up high for ball three. And the count is full. Gorby deals. A swing and a miss. Sisson strikes out. Excuse me, that was Gonzalez at the plate who struck out right there. So Gonzalez strikes out for the first out, and now Rowan is up to bat for Philip Barber. And that one is grounded to Whitehair. Off the hop, he throws to Hayden Jones, and Jones makes the catch for the out. Two away now for Fairmont. And again, there is some changes in the field. Sammy Vianney who started this game at pitcher. has moved to second. Gorby from left field goes to the mound. And straight, Blake Strait, who is on second, is back in right field. Gorby deals to Misesso. And that one called ball one. Misesso, the only run for Phillip Barber in this game. Gorby throws a strike. Count is 1-1. One, one. Nobody on. Two out. And Gorby deals again right down the middle for strike two. And Gorby and Vianney both pitch up tempo. Here's the 1-2. A swing and a miss. Massesso strikes out. Gorby gets out of the inning quickly. Only 11 pitches. And when we return, the Polar Bears will be up to bat. You're watching live streaming coverage of Fairmont Senior Polar Bear Baseball on Video Productions. Hi, my name is Zach Frazier and I'm from Fairmont, West Virginia. And when I'm back at home in Fairmont, you'll find me at my local Parmar store. We had that Golden Blue Pride at Parmar. There are literally hundreds of Parmar stores in West Virginia, Kentucky, Ohio, and Pennsylvania, and even more on the way. Download the Parmar app to save even more. And whether it's food, gas, groceries, or whatever, we have you covered at Parmar. West Virginia proud and ready to serve you. If there's not a Parmar store near you now, there will be soon. An injury at any age can be a game changer. But with walk-in clinics Monday through Saturday, the Marshall Sports Medicine Institute is ready to get you off the bench and back in the game. Marshall Sports Medicine Institute takes care of the herd. Let us take care of you. Sandwiches. Better with Pepsi. <sighs> Welcome you back to Mary Lou Retton Park for the bottom of the fourth inning. Due up for the Polar Bears, number seven, Junior Brody Whitehair, followed by Blake Strait and Ethan Miller. Still on the mound is Albert Gonzalez. Gave up a run last inning. He loaded the bases up and on a really wild play. Involved the infield fly rule, one of the strangest rules in baseball. So Landon Carpenter, the shortstop, went up, tried to make the catch, didn't. But because of the infield fly rule, the batter, Hayden Jones, was out. But since Ours was able to tag and get home in time, the run did count. So that's how Fairmont Sr. got on the board. Philip Barber also has a run. It's 1-1, and Gonzalez deals. White hair. Took a whiff at that one. He was looking big on that swing. And the count is 0-1 to Brody. Gonzalez deals. Brody White hair fouls that one back off of the netting behind home plate. And the count is 0-2. Again, bottom of the fourth inning. Nobody on, nobody out. First batter of the inning. 0-2 from Gonzalez. Whitehair checks his swing, and he's going to call that high for ball one. So the count's 1-2 to Whitehair. This is pitch number 56 for Gonzalez on the game. And it's down low for ball two. Count is two and two. 
Sun starting to set here at Mary Lou Retton Park. This could be, could be difficult for Pop Flies out in the field. Gonzalez, a 2-2. Two -two. That went at Brody's face. And he ducks out of the way. The count is full. So Gonzalez had Brody Whitehair at an 0-2 count. Three consecutive balls has made it full. Whitehair trying to get on base. The 3-2 from Gonzalez. Swing and a miss. He struck Whitehair out. So Whitehair strikes out. That'll bring Blake straight to the plate. One out, nobody on. Straight at the plate. Looks at the pitch from Gonzalez. He watches it go high for ball one. In the bottom of the fourth inning, score tied 1-1. One, one. Straight. Pops this one up and foul. Count is one and one. Score is one and one. There's one out. Nobody on base for the Polar Bears. This is pitch number 61 for Gonzalez. He's starting to get up there in the pitch count. Kept it low early. Straight fouls that one back again. Approaching 7 p.m. here at Mary Lou Retton Park. Gonzalez deals that one. Almost curved into the strike zone, but it's called ball two. He's gone to that pitch a couple times today, and it's been really good for him. Looks like it's going to be inside. Slides right in to the strike zone. It didn't get enough slide on it that time. Brings up a 2-2 count. Gonzalez deals. A pie. Ball three. Count is full again. Count was full for Brody Whitehair. He's able to strike him out. See if he can do the same for straight. Straight wanting to get on base here. Put some pressure on the Colts. Gonzalez has pitched the whole game. Three, two. And Blake straight. Good eye. Watches it for ball four and he walks. Straight is on first. Ethan Miller. Comes into the box. Masesso on first, awaiting the pickoff. And that one right down the center, but a bit high for ball one to Ethan Miller. One out, one on, 1-0 one -oh count. Score tied at one in the bottom of the fourth. Gonzalez up high again. Ball two. Miller is ready. Good lead off by straight on first. That one is down low. So all three of these pitches have been right over the plate. It's just the height Gonzalez can't get, and it's got him in a 3-0 count. It's been up high for the first two down low. But he's been perfect on the x-axis. And now Miller shows bunt. Third baseman Gonzalez comes up, and on four pitches, Ethan Miller walks. Two on for the Polar Bears. And Tyler Sisson comes up to his pitcher to meet again. Only one out. Same image we saw an inning ago. Only one out. And then the Polar Bears started filling those bases up. They are able to put one run in to tie it after being down 1-0. Sisson goes back behind the plate. Gonzalez remains on the mound and... Braden Gorby, who's pitching in relief for Vianney today, comes into the plate, into the box. 
two on, one out, score tied at one in the bottom of the fourth. Gonzalez deals, and again, right down the middle, but he can't get the height quite figured out yet. It's a lot of pitches over the plate, but up high, down low. In scoring position is Blake Strait on second. The big lead off. That one, not over the plate. It was low and outside. Ball two. Two-zero count. Gorby shows bunt. Coming way up is first baseman Macesso. He pulls back. Catcher drops it. Strike called. Here go the runners. And Whitehair is caught in the middle. Straight is caught in the middle. The third to second is not in time. And Blake Straight gets back in time. Opportunity for the Polar Bears there. Nothing bad happened as an outcome. We'll take a look at the replay. Right in the glove of Sisson. He wasn't able to hang on. You can see the runners caught in the middle. Straight didn't go to third. Whitehair was caught. He had to get back to first. Sisson was so far, or sorry, Macesso was so far up. There wasn't a throw to first to get Whitehair. That one is swung on and hit high by Gorby. Into center field goes Wolf, and Wolf is able to hang on for the out. Second out of the inning. Gorby flies out. Here comes Dylan Hours, the only run scored in this game for the Polar Bears. Number five, he comes to the plate again. Gonzalez has 72 pitches on the game in just four innings. First two innings were really good for Gonzalez. He was able to get the outs easy. Seven, six of the first seven batters he got out. Now there's two outs now. He's struggled in the third and the fourth, allowing some base runners on for Fairmont. Only giving up one run, though. Gonzalez deals up high. Dylan Howes is a threat in any sport he plays. Three-sport athlete this season. He's a contender for the Kennedy Award in football, which goes to the best player of the season that's voted. That one down low for ball two. A four-time state champion, Dylan Hours at the plate, looking to get ring number five this season. As he joins baseball. Gonzalez deals up high again. Ball three. The count is 3-0. Straight on second. And Ethan Miller is on first. Hours. Like to try to get Gore, er, Blake straight home. The count is 3-0, though. And it's in. No. Oh. I thought that was the pitch that would load the bases up. It was not. It's called a strike. So now the count's 3-1. Two outs, two on. Hours at the plate. 77th pitch of the game for Gonzalez. Right down the middle for strike two. Count is full two hours. Could be a pivotal point in the game if he's able to put this ball in play. Or at least load the bases up. Here's the payoff pitch. Hours swings, misses, strikes out. Inning over. Fifth inning coming up when we return here on Video Productions. Score tied, 1-1. One, one. We got a good one. I'm Keith Powell, and going on right now is my Keith Says Yes Fest. I'm saying yes to lowering your payments, yes to your trade-in, regardless of condition, miles, even if you're still making payments. My Keith Says Yes credit approval process helps me say yes, you're approved. So if you want new Chevys, yes! New Fords? Yes! Lifetime warranty? Yes!
come see me, Keith Powell, at Yes Chevy in Hurricane and Yes Ford in Huntington. An injury at any age can be a game changer. But with walk-in clinics Monday through Saturday, the Marshall Sports Medicine Institute is ready to get you off the bench and back in the game. Marshall Sports Medicine Institute takes care of the herd. Let us take care of you. Hi, this is Meredith Mayer from Fairmont, West Virginia. And when I'm back home, you can find me at my local Parmar store. We have that thundering herd pride at your local Parmar stores. We are over 200 stores strong and growing. Download the Parmar app for even more savings and sign up for the Parmar Rewards Card. Whether it's food, gas, or groceries, we have you covered. We are Marshall and we are Parmar Stores. If there's not a Parmar store near you now, there will be soon. Sandwiches, better with Pepsi. Since 1965, the team at City Construction has been an industry leader in all facets of construction, shaping the West Virginia landscape with some of the most recognizable commercial projects throughout the state. As one of the largest general contractors in North Central West Virginia, our outstanding record of quality workmanship and personal service is here for your next project. Call our team of experts today. Give us the opportunity to design build your next project City Construction Company, West Virginia proud since 1965. Welcome back to Mary Lou Retton Park. Score tied 1-1, getting ready to start the fifth inning. Polar Bear Baseball team would like to thank our sponsors this season, Joe's Cars, Dan Cava Toyota, and A1 Construction. Appreciate taking the time to sponsor Polar Bear Baseball in 2024. Gorby on the mound for Fairmont. Start the top of the fifth inning. At the plate is number two, Grant Harris. So Gorby deals right down the middle for strike one. Polar Bears needed a walk off last year against Philip Barber to get the win. What a pitch by Gorby. Went right down the middle. Nice curve on that one. He took a lot of speed off the 0-2. That one up high. Tried to go up tempo. Missed his own a little bit. Here's the 1-2. That one fouled back by Harris. Count still 1-2. and two. Nobody out, nobody on. Gorby deals. That one swung on and hit. And that is down for a base hit in front of Logan Canfield. And on first is Grant Harris. Just, it's just the second hit of the game for Philip Barber. That one, a bunt attempt. It's in the air. Ethan Miller can't find it, and it falls. Had a chance at it. Miller couldn't see it when it popped up in the air. So that'll make the count 0-1 to Slayton Harris. Runner on first is Grant Harris. Swing and a miss. That one was up high. Took a shot at it. Couldn't make contact. Count is 0-2. And, Harris with a big leadoff on first. That's Grant Harris. Slayton Harris at the plate, and he strikes out looking. Great pitch by Gorby. Now batting number one, Kale Wolf. Coming up to the plate now is Kale Wolf. That one, strike one.
That one, the bottom of the strike zone for strike two. Count is 0-2, one out and one runner on first. Apologize, we have to go to the behind the plate camera as had battery issues out in center field. We're trying to get that fixed now. Hope to get that camera up as soon as possible. Gorby delivers. That one fouled back. So Wolf staying alive on an 0-2 count. Pitcher Braden Gorby deals. Outside, up high. Ball one. Count is one, two. That one is hit and is fielded by Vianney. Trying for the double play to Whitehair. Throw to Jones is... So they get the out at second. Kel Wolf makes it to first on a fielder's choice. Show the replay and we get a chance here. Runner on first is Wolf. Two out. Game tied at one. That one up high for ball one. Take a look at the replay here. Wolf hits it. Vianney does a nice job fielding it. Flips it to Whitehair. Couldn't turn two quick enough to get Wolf out. And he makes it to first in time. So two down. One ball, zero strikes to Nick Gonzalez. That one up high for ball two. So Wolf reached on a fielder's choice. Gorby delivers that one in the dirt. Ball three. So Gonzalez ahead in the count. 3-0 with two outs. One on first base. And a tie ball game. 1-1 one, one here in the top of the fifth inning. Gorby's pitch up high. And it's called ball four. Ball four is the call. Pulvers thought they got a strike call. It was up high. Was up high. So Fairmont thought they had a shot at that. Two outs, runner on first and second. So Gonzalez walked. Wolf is on second, and the freshman Landon Carpenter at the plate. Just in time, we got the center field camera back up. That one called strike one. Gorby deals outside. Ball two. Two on, two out. The count is 2 1. Game tied at one. Gorby checks, deals. That one called strike two. Carpenter. At the plate, he walked in the third inning, struck out in the first. Gorby trying to add another strikeout to Landon Carpenter's stats on the day. Count is 2 2. Oh, called ball three. That was a great pitch by Gorby. Thought they would give him the backwards K right there, but they called up high. Put a lot of curve on that one. The payoff pitch. That one swung on, hit high by Carpenter. And it is foul. That one went into the parking lot.
That one is swung on and hit high into right field, and the catch is made by Blake Strait. Not only on the top of the fifth. Game is tied, 1-1, one, one. bottom of the fifth. Coming up next when we return on Video Productions. Sandwiches, better with Pepsi. An injury at any age can be a game changer. But with walk-in clinics Monday through Saturday, the Marshall Sports Medicine Institute is ready to get you off the bench and back in the game. Marshall Sports Medicine Institute takes care of the herd. Let us take care of you. I'm Keith Powell, and going on right now is my Keith Says Yes Fest. I'm saying yes to lowering your payments, yes to your trade-in, regardless of condition, miles, even if you're still making payments. My Keith Says Yes credit approval process helps me say yes, you're approved. So if you want new Chevys, yes. New Fords, yes. Lifetime warranty, yes. Come see me, Keith Powell at Yes Chevy and Hurricane and Yes Ford in Huntington. I'm Keith Powell and going on right now is my Keith Says Yes Fest. I'm saying yes to lowering your payments, yes to your trade-in, Regardless of condition, miles, even if you're still making payments, my Keith Says Yes credit approval process helps me say yes, you're approved. So if you want new Chevys, yes. New Fords, yes. Lifetime warranty, yes. Come see me, Keith Powell at Yes Chevy and Hurricane and Yes Ford in Huntington. An injury at any age can be a game changer. But with walk-in clinics Monday through Saturday, the Marshall Sports Medicine Institute is ready to get you off the bench and back in the game. Marshall Sports Medicine Institute takes care of the herd. Let us take care of you. Hi, this is Meredith Mayer from Fairmont, West Virginia. And when I'm back home, you can find me at my local Parmar store. We have that thundering herd pride at your local Parmar stores. We are over 200 stores strong and growing. Download the Parmar app for even more savings and sign up for the Parmar Rewards Card. Whether it's food, gas, or groceries, we have you covered. We are Marshall and we are Parmar Stores. If there's not a Parmar store near you now, there will be soon. Sandwiches, better with Pepsi. <sighs> Since 1965, the team at City... Welcome you back to Mary Lou Retton Park. New pitcher for the Colts. It's number two, Grant Harris. Pitched one inning against Grafton, and it's a forgettable one. Four run runs given up in that one. They did end up winning 11-6. To Peschel, that one called strike one. That one, ball two to Peschel. Here's the 2-1. That one swung on, hit by Peschel, base hit. Cam Peschel is on. Now batting number one, Sammy Vianney. Brings up Sammy Vianney. So Peschel gets his first hit of the game. He's been on base every time he's been up to bat. He has walked twice, got a hit there. Nobody out. One on and one one score. Peschel takes off and he gets the second safely. Add another stolen base to Peschel's career. On a pass ball to Vianney. Harris delivers that one inside. I'd like to apologize. That was Tyler Veltry out in right field that made the catch to end the inning. Not Blake Strait. Had a fielding change. And as soon as the center field cam went out, 
Got back, went out again, and Vianney pops that one foul. Brings it a 2-1 count. We're working on the center field camera, but for now we just got the one behind the plate. And a 2-1 count. Peschel on second. Nobody out. Harris deals. Up high. Ball three. Three one. In the dirt. Vianney walks. Two on. Nobody out. And the start to this one's not any better for Grant Harris. And already meeting with him at the mound. He gave up four earned runs against Grafton on Tuesday. Comes back in relief for Albert Gonzalez who moved to second. And gave up a hit to Peschel. Peschel stole second and he walked Vianney. Hayden Jones comes up to the plate. He struck out in the first and he was called out on an infield fly rule in the third. But he's able to send Dylan Hours home for the only run of the game for Fairmont Sr. Now batting, number 24, Hayden Jones. Vianney on first as a base runner. Peschel on second. Jones at the plate. Takes strike one from Harris. That one outside for ball one. Ump calls time. Two on, nobody out. The count is one and one to Jones. Here's Harris. Bunt up and... Off the press box, foul. Jones steps out. One ball, two strikes for Hayden Jones. With two on and nobody out. Jones swings that one high into left field. It is headed foul at the wall and not able to hang on is left fielder Kent Rowan. He had a shot at it. It was right at the fence. I think he may have got a glove on it. Couldn't hang on. And so Jones stays alive. And a 1-2 count from Grant Harris. Jones, that's a base hit. Here comes Peschel to home for the lead. Fairmont Sr. leads 2-1. As Peschel comes to the plate on an RBI by Hayden Jones. So another RBI in this game for Hayden Jones. Nobody out for Fairmont. And Canfield bunts. It's a good one. Does he get to first in time? No, he does not. So Canfield is out on a bunt, but he advanced the runners. Vianney to third, Jones to second. And that's a win for Fairmont. Of course, you'd like to have base runner on first to load the bases up put more pressure on Grant Harris who has struggled coming in this game in relief now batting number seven Brody Whitehair Brody Whitehair steps to the plate one out two on two in scoring position for the polar bears Harris deals up high ball one
the 1-0. Swung on, and that one's fair. Here comes Vianney. He scores. Jones stays at third. And Whitehair sends Vianney home. It's 3-1 Fairmont. So coming in is Tyler Veltri. He replaces Blake Strait in the lineup. And the ump calls time. Tyler Veltri in a good position. Runners on the corners. Grant Harris at the mound. Delivers up high. Here goes Whitehair. He is safe at second. Stolen base by Brody Whitehair. So add another steal to Brody Whitehair's career. He had a stolen base last year, last week against Cameron. Had 15 a year ago on the season. That one outside, ball two to Tyler Veltri. Two zero, -oh, two on, one out, outside again, ball three. Not the ideal start for Grant Harris. And Veltri fakes bunt. That one's right down the middle for strike one. Only one out. Three one count. Runners on second and third. Veltri, this one's into center field. And going back and making the catch is the center fielder, Kale Wolf. And here comes Hayden Jones into score. 4-1 Fairmont, and Tyler Veltri sends Hayden Jones home, and the Polar Bears continue to run around the bases. Still have Brody Whitehair on third. So a sack fly RBI from Tyler Veltri adds another run for Fairmont. Harris deals that one outside to Ethan Miller. Two outs. Harris delivers up high. Two O count to Ethan Miller, the senior, who had a hit and a run scored a week ago, and Miller cranks this one deep into left field. That one is fair. It drops fair. Into scores Whitehair. Miller to second. Five one Fairmont senior. And Miller hits the Sully on a double, an RBI double that scores Brody Whitehair. The Bears lead by four. I thought that one had a shot to go over. It went back at the track. Left fielder Kent Rowan couldn't get back there in time, and it dropped right on the line. Ump called fair. And now we got a... Pinch runner on second and Slayton Jack and Braden Gorby comes up to the plate. That one's strike one to Gorby. So the third run of the inning, excuse me, the fourth run of the inning for Fairmont Senior. It's tied 1-1 going into the bottom of the fifth and four unanswered. It's 5-1. Gorby has an 0-1 count. That one almost hit him. Ball two. So Ethan Miller hit the deep shot to left. That went up high, ball three. Ethan Miller hit the deep shot to left. Is Slayton Jack on second now in place of Ethan Miller. Whitehair came around to score to add run number four of the inning. 
And that one called strike two. The count is full to Braden Gorby. Whitehair scored, Jones scored, Vianney scored, and Peschel scored all in this inning. That one almost caught him. Gorby gets out of the way and just takes the ball four. You'd like to get on base, but in a full count, you wouldn't want to get hit by pitch. And now into the game comes Matt Masters for Dylan Hours. Now batting number 29, Matt Masters. Runner on first and second. On second is Slayton Jack. On first is Braden Gorby. Two down, two on. And Harris's pitch is outside for ball one. It makes the entire lineup from top to bottom has batted this inning for Fairmont. Started with Cam Peschel. And Matt Masters at the plate now. And Masters has a shot into center field. Back goes Wolf and he makes the catch. And Phillip Barber gets out of a nightmare of an inning. Polar Bears score four. Sixth inning coming up next when we return here on Video Productions. Sandwiches, better with Pepsi. An injury at any age can be a game changer. But with walk-in clinics Monday through Saturday, the Marshall Sports Medicine Institute is ready to get you off the bench and back in the game. Marshall Sports Medicine Institute takes care of the herd. Let us take care of you. I'm Keith Powell, and going on right now is my Keith Says Yes Fest. I'm saying yes to lowering your payments, yes to your trade-in, regardless of condition, miles, even if you're still making payments. My Keith Says Yes credit approval process helps me say yes, you're approved. So if you want new Chevys, yes. New Fords, yes. Lifetime warranty, yes. Come see me, Keith Powell at Yes Chevy and Hurricane and Yes Ford in Huntington. We welcome you back to Mary Lou Retton Park. Polar Bears hadn't led in this game until the fifth inning. They score four runs, and go up five to one. Philip Barber's going to have to make a run, try to come back in this one. Tyler Veltry's in the game in right field. Matt Masters came in to bat for Dylan Hours. Dylan Hours has re entered. We'll be warming up at the mound. Sisson at the plate, he chops that one foul. No. Gorby deals, nice curve, but it went too low. Counts one and one. Here's the one one from Gorby, he goes to the curve again, same spot. It's 2-1. And that is 3-1 count. Gorby deals 3-1. That one's hit. Base hit for Sisson. Hours fields it in left field, and Sisson's on. Good start to the inning for Phillip Barber. They need to try to chop into a 5-1 deficit. And Sisson lead off on base. Gorby deals up high, ball one. So base hit for Tyler Sisson. Gorby deals a swing and a miss from Gonzalez. Wanted a shot at that one. Runner on first. Nobody out. The count is 1-1. Fairmont Senior leads 5-1. In the top of the six, that one in the dirt. 
Ball two. To Gonzalez, who started this game at pitcher. And when he got taken out in relief for Harris, things went south for Phillip Barber. Here's a pickoff attempt by Gorby. No good. But he's keeping Tyler Sisson honest. 2-1. Gorby delivers. Called strike two. That one at the top of the strike zone. Able to fit it in. And a 2-2 count to Albert Gonzalez. On first is Sisson. Gorby deals up high. The count is full. Ump calls time. Gorby back on the mound. Count is full to Albert Gonzalez. One on, nobody out. Here's the payoff pitch. Swung on, popped up high. Moving under it is Brody Whitehair. He makes the catch. One down. And Albert Gonzalez pops out. Now batting, number 10. And Kent, Kent Rowan. Rowan comes up to the plate. Runner on, one out. Colts trail by four. Here's a pickoff attempt by Gorby. Keeping Sisson honest. That one low, throw to first by Miller to Jones. Not giving any chance of Tyler Sisson stealing second. Counts 1-0 to Kent Rowan, who steps out of the box for a second and back in. Gorby fires up high, ball two. Gorby, that one high again, and the count is 3-0. So the Colts are threatening to put two on in a four-run game. With two chances left for Phillip Barber. Right down the middle for strike one. Good pitch by Gorby. Kent Rowan started in right field. Moved to left field. And Rowan drills this one into right center field. Veltri trying to get there, and he lets it bounce in front of him. And a base hit for Kent Rowan. Puts two on for Phillip Barber. And that ball landed in the perfect spot for Rowan. Neither Veltri nor Canfield could get there in time. Veltri played it as good as he could. He let it bounce in front. Didn't let it get behind. Didn't make a big mistake. Was able to get it in. Now two on. One out. Swing and a miss by Massesso. Now batting number 24, Anthony Massesso. Only one out, two on for Phillip Barber. Only have one run on the board. They trail by four on the top of the sixth. Good pitch by Gorby. As that's called strike two, he goes back to that curve. He takes a lot of speed off of it. Here's the 0-2, a swing and a miss by Massesso. Gorby strikes him out. Two down. One thing you can't do, down four. And the top of the sixth inning in these closing in is strand anyone on base if you want a chance to win. Phillip Barber's in a good position base running wise. They've got two outs. And now Jacob Gray, the junior, comes in for the first time this season. And runner subbing in for Tyler Sisson. That is number five, Clint Ovil, a senior. So Ovil on second. And Kent Rowan on first. At the plate is Jacob Gray. Gorby deals. Gray fouls it back. 
two out, two on. O oh, one count for Gray. The lefty. Morby deals. That one hit him. Did it? Didn't hit him. Hit the ground before it hit him. So, Gray does not get to take a base. And the count is one and one. And Gray chops it right to Gorby, who flips it to Hayden Jones. Low throw, but he's able to get the out. And the Colts strand two, bottom of the sixth, coming up next when we return here on Video Productions. I'm Keith Powell, and going on right now is my Keith Says Yes Fest. I'm saying yes to lowering your payments, yes to your trade-in, regardless of condition, miles, even if you're still making payments. My Keith Says Yes credit approval process helps me say yes, you're approved. So if you want new Chevys, yes. New Fords, yes. Lifetime warranty, yes. Come see me, Keith Powell at Yes Chevy and Hurricane and Yes Ford in Huntington. An injury at any age can be a game changer. But with walk-in clinics Monday through Saturday, the Marshall Sports Medicine Institute is ready to get you off the bench and back in the game. Marshall Sports Medicine Institute takes care of the herd. Let us take care of you. Hi, this is Meredith Mayer from Fairmont, West Virginia. And when I'm back home, you can find me at my local Parmar store. We had that thundering herd pride at your local Parmar stores. We are over 200 stores strong and growing. Download the Parmar app for even more savings and sign up for the Parmar rewards card. Whether it's food, gas, or groceries, we have you covered. We are Marshall and we are Parmar stores. If there's not a Parmar store near you now, there will be soon. Sandwiches, better with Pepsi. <sighs> Since 1965, the team at City Construction has been an industry leader in all facets of construction, shaping the West Virginia landscape with some of the most recognizable commercial projects throughout the state. As one of the largest general contractors in North Central West Virginia, our outstanding record of quality workmanship and personal service is here for your next project. Call our team of experts today. Give us the opportunity to design build your next project. City Construction Company, West Virginia proud since 1965. Welcome you back to Mary Lou Retton Park. And again, we apologize, not able to get the center field camera working yet. Still trying to work on it. So have to ride with the behind home plate cam. And Philip Barber changes pitchers. Preston Sweet, the junior, to the mound. Cam Peschel starts off the inning, second inning in a row. All nine batters batted in the fifth inning, a four-run inning for Fairmont Sr. to give him a 5-1 lead. Peschel has been on base every time he's been to the plate in this game. And that's ball two there. Peschel walked in the first, walked in the third. Got a single in the first, came around and scored. And he's at a 3-0 count now. So Cam is looking to be on base all four times today. Sweet delivers right down the middle, strike one. Here is the three one from Sweet to Peschel. Low Peschel is on base for the fourth time today. He walks for the third time. That'll bring Sammy Vianney up to the plate. Vianney walked in the fifth inning, came around and scored, walked in the third inning, and he reached first on a fielder's choice. So both Peschel and Vianney have been on base every time they've come to the plate in this game. Sweet delivers on the outside of the strike zone. That's called strike one. Peschel on first. He's already stolen second once in this game. See how aggressive he is here. That one low for ball one.
One on, nobody out. One one from Sweet. Outside, ball two. I'd like to thank our viewers for t tuning in. Second home game of the year. I'd like to be here for all of them for the rest of the season. Vianney fouls that one. Makes the count two and two. Peschel on first. Always a threat to get to second. Vianney stands in. Preston Sweet, the junior. For Philip Barber, the 2 2. And the dirt, ball three. Bottom of the sixth inning. One on, that's Peschel. Nobody out. Here's the payoff pitch from Sweet. A pie, Vianney walks. And he's been on base all four times he's come to the plate. And you know, it's a good game for your team if the top two batters in your batting order get on base every time they come to the plate. And a meeting at the mound for the Colts with their pitcher Preston Sweet. Hayden Jones will step in, struck out in the first, got out on an infield fly rule in the third that allowed Dylan Hours to come home to put the first run on the board for Fairmont Senior. They trailed 1-0, tied the game 1-1 in the third, and then had a four-run inning in the fifth, and they lead 5-1. Hayden Jones had a single in the fifth inning, came around to score. So we got two on, Peschel on second, Sammy Vianney on first, Hayden Jones at the plate. And Preston Sweet delivers low for ball one. Sweet checks out second base, fires. That one called strike one. Count is 1-1. One, one. Sweet. Outside, ball two. Again, Peschel on second. Led the team in stolen bases a year ago with 21. He has one on the day today. He had one last week against Cameron. Here's the 2-1. Swung on and fouled by Hayden Jones. Down third baseline. Makes the count 2-2. Two and two. Preston Sweet checks out Peschel on second and delivers a 2-2. That one curved way outside, gets the wall, and Peschel gets the third. Vianney gets the second. And the count is full for Hayden Jones. So runners on second and third, two in scoring position with nobody out for the Polar Bears as they try to add more runs to their 5-1 lead at the moment. Sweet. Fires. The payoff pitch inside. Bases loaded as Jones will take first on a walk. That brings up Logan Canfield. With the bases loaded. Canfield, who plays football, is a lefty in football. He's batting right handed today. Bases loaded. Sweet fires. That one in the dirt gets away. Peschel will stay at third. And it's ball one. Pulvers have had the bases loaded a couple times today. Trying to capitalize again. Canfield chops this one. And it's by! It gets through Nick Gonzalez. Here comes... Vianney at the plate, that one gets away. Jones the third, Peschel's coming to score, and Canfield gets the second. Two runs come in on a mistake by Nick Gonzalez, the third baseman, 
and it's 7-1 Fairmont Senior with runners at second and third. Sweet to Whitehair. Low for ball one. So Peschel came in to score on an RBI from Logan Canfield, and Vianney came in to score. Trying to tag him out the plate. It got behind. Here's Whitehair to Gonzalez. Gonzalez checks third first and throws the first. It is not in time. It's dropped, and Hayden Jones comes in. Here comes Canfield to the plate. And Logan Canfield scores. 9-1 Fairmont Senior. Tyler Veltry steps up to bat with a runner on first. That one bounced way before the play for ball one. So Hayden Jones came in and scored. Logan Canfield came in to score. And it's back-to-back -back four run innings for Fairmont Senior. They lead by eight. Sweet delivers outside. Here goes Whitehair. Add that one to the stolen base collection. So Brody Whitehair has his second steal of the game. One ball, one strike for Tyler Veltry. Whitehair on second. Gets a big lead there. That one in the dirt gets by. Whitehair comes to third. Preston Sweet has bounced a lot of pitches. Really shy of the mound today. So Whitehair, who got the single, allowed Canfield and Hayden Jones to come in. Tyler Veltry up to bat now, and Whitehair has made it to third in scoring position, and nobody out. Sweet delivers that one in the dirt again, and it's 3-1 for Veltry. A 9-1 lead for the Polar Bears. Here's the 3-1 from Sweet right down the middle. And the count is full. Whitehair on third. Trying to get the first out of the inning for Phillip Barber. Here's the payoff pitch. Swung on and Veltri fouls it back. Stays alive at the plate. Tyler Veltri in for Blake Strait, who started this game batting sixth. Veltri came in in the fifth inning, last inning. 3-2, payoff pitch from Sweet. And a cold strike three on Tyler Veltri. It was right on the outside. Close call. And that's the first out of the inning. So now Slayton Jack comes in for Ethan Miller. Number 33. In a 9-1 game. One out, one on. Jack fouls it. Count is 0-1. Sweet. That one outside. Ball one. One, one. One on, one out. Bears by eight. That one on the outside of the strike zone called strike two for Slayton Jack. Jack at the plate. First time this season. In the dirt again from Sweet. And it's 2 2. Jack steps back in, awaits the pitch. He'd like to get Brody Whitehair in for the 10th run of the game. Sweet delivers. Jack fouls that one away. 
Count still two and two. Runner on third, that is Brody Whitehair. He's also had a really good game this game. Sweet fires. And Jack strikes out looking. Back to back, backwards K's. And two are away for Fairmont Senior. Braden Gorby comes in with two outs. Whitehair still on third in the bottom of the sixth. Sweet fires, that one. Catches the edge of the strike zone for strike one. Nine one lead for the polar bears. That one low for ball one. Whitehair's been on third for a while. Trying to come home. That one low again for ball two from Sweet. Two out, one on, the count is 2-1 in the bottom of the six. Sweet, fires. Gorby checks, and it's ball three. So a 3-1 count to Braden Gorby. With two out and one on. Sweet, fires, low, ball four. Gorby takes his base. So Braden Gorby is on base. And uh, meet at the mound around pitcher Preston Sweet. Let's see if they change. Ever since they took starting pitcher Albert Gonzalez out, it's gone all downhill for there for the Phillip Barber Colts. It was tied 1-1. And Grant Harris came into the game. He gave up four runs in the fifth inning. Then Preston Sweet came into the game. He gave up four runs in this inning. And now they put number seven, Maddox Satterfield, on the mound. Maddox Satterfield, a sophomore, the fourth pitcher of the game for Phillip Barber. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll finish out the bottom of the sixth inning here on Video Productions. Sandwiches, better with Pepsi. <sighs> An injury at any age can be a game changer. But with walk-in clinics Monday through Saturday, the Marshall Sports Medicine Institute is ready to get you off the bench and back in the game. Marshall Sports Medicine Institute takes care of the herd. Let us take care of you. I'm Keith Powell, and going on right now is my Keith Says Yes Fest. I'm saying yes to lowering your payments, yes to your trade-in, Regardless of condition, miles, even if you're still making payments, my Keith Says Yes credit approval process helps me say yes, you're approved. So if you want new Chevys, yes. New Fords, yes. Lifetime warranty, yes. Come see me, Keith Powell at Yes Chevy and Hurricane and Yes Ford in Huntington. We welcome you back to Mary Lou Retton Park, a 9-1 game. Polar Bears have the lead. They won by seven a week ago over Cameron. They lead by eight now over the Colts of Phillip Barber. Pitching change sees number seven, a sophomore, Maddox Satterfield, to the mound. Fourth pitcher of the game for the Phillip Barber Colts. Macesso at first. At second is the starting pitcher of this game. Albert Gonzalez, Landon Carpenter, the shortstop. And third base is Nick Gonzalez. And here comes Dylan Hours stepping in to the box. That one called strike one. That one's strike two, excuse me. Satterfield fires two hours. And okay, so the count reset. 
Went away trying to figure out what it is. Two outs, two on. Runners on the corners. Gorby at first. Brody Whitehair at third. Satterfield delivers two hours, and that one's off the glove of Gonzalez. Carpenter can't pick it up, and that's an RBI single for Dylan Hours. And Brody Whitehair is in 10 1, Fairmont Senior. And Cam Peschel comes up to the plate for the fifth time today. He's been on base all four previous times. So you take a look at that RBI from Dylan Hours. And now Satterfield delivers to Peschel. That one called strike one. This is actually Peschel's second time batting this inning. He led off in this inning. Has already scored a run. Walked earlier. Satterfield fires. Peschel fouls that one up and back. The count is 0 and 2. The score is 10 and 10 to 1. And the Polar Bears with a run right here can end it. 0 2 count to Cam Peschel. Satterfield fires. That one is hit into right field. It's shallow. Over to get it. And making the catch is Morrison. And that'll end the sixth inning. So close to a 10 run rule. But we'll have to play the seventh. Philip Barber needs nine runs to stay alive when we return here on Video Productions. Hi, this is Meredith Mayer from Fairmont, West Virginia. And when I'm back home, you can find me at my local Parmar store. We had that thundering herd pride at your local Parmar stores. We are over 200 stores strong and growing. Download the Parmar app for even more savings and sign up for the Parmar Rewards Card. Whether it's food, gas, or groceries, we have you covered. We are Marshall, and we are Parmar Stores. If there's not a Parmar store near you now, there will be soon. Here at the Cracker Barrel, home-style food and great value go hand-in-hand hand with favorites like slow-simmered chicken and dumplings starting at $7.99 or perfectly golden fluffy buttermilk pancakes with your own bottle of warm syrup. Come fill up on favorites without emptying your wallet. Cracker Barrel, take care now. Welcome you back to Mary Lou Retton Park where the Polar Bears have a nine run lead over the Philip Barber Colts as we go to the top of the seventh inning. Braden Gorby, as long as he doesn't give up nine or more runs this inning, it'll end on three outs for Fairmont Senior. So a recap for you. Philip Barber's Macesso scored the first run of the game. Colts led 1-0. Fairmont answered back. Dylan Hours came in and tied it at one. And then the fifth inning happened. Peschel scored, made it 2-1. Vianney scored, made it 3-1. Jones made it 4-1. Brody Whitehair came in, made it 5-1. That was in the fifth inning. And then an inning ago, Peschel, Vianney, and Jones scored again. Canfield scored, and Whitehair scored. Gorby deals the first pitch, and it's called strike one. That one up high for ball one. Gorby fires that one low. Ball two. Two one. Gorby kicks, deals, swing, and a miss by senior Clint Oval stepping in for Slayton Harris. Here's the two two. Right down the middle. And Clint Oval strikes out looking. One down, two to go until the end of the game for the Polar Bears. Who looking to add their second win of the season. Go 2-0. and Stepping in is Jackson Wilson. That one called strike one from Gorby. The 0-1 becomes 0-2 on a pitch right down the middle from Braden Gorby. This is Wilson at the plate. Wilson pops it up. 
Whitehair goes over. Hours comes behind, and Brody Whitehair falls down as he makes the catch for the second out of the inning. And the Polar Bears are one out away from becoming 2-0 on the season in a dominant performance ever since the fifth inning. It was a one-point game or less for the first four innings. And the Polar Bears poured it on in the fifth and the sixth. Gorby deals one high to number 25, Brent Foy, the junior. That one called strike one. So 1-1 one, one count with two outs. Gorby delivers. That one low. Ball two. Nobody on. Two out. The count is 2-1. Gorby fires right down the middle for strike two. 2-2 two, two count to Foy. With two outs. This one could do it. And it does. Foy strikes out looking. The Polar Bears of Fairmont Senior go 2-0 on the season with a win tonight over Phillip Barber. 10-1, to the final score. We'll return with post-game wrap-up here on Video Productions. I'm Keith Powell, and going on right now is my Keith Says Yes Fest. I'm saying yes to lowering your payments, yes to your trade-in, regardless of condition, miles, even if you're still making payments. My Keith Says Yes credit approval process helps me say yes, you're approved. So if you want new Chevys, yes. New Fords, yes. Lifetime warranty, yes. Come see me, Keith Powell, at Yes Chevy and Hurricane and Yes Ford in Huntington. An injury at any age can be a game changer. But with walk-in clinics Monday through Saturday, the Marshall Sports Medicine Institute is ready to get you off the bench and back in the game. Marshall Sports Medicine Institute takes care of the herd. Let us take care of you. Hi, this is Meredith Mayer from Fairmont, West Virginia. And when I'm back home, you can find me at my local Parmar store. We had that thundering herd pride at your local Parmar stores. We are over 200 stores strong and growing. Download the Parmar app for even more savings and sign up for the Parmar Rewards Card. Whether it's food, gas, or groceries, we have you covered. We are Marshall and we are Parmar Stores. If there's not a Parmar store near you now, there will be soon. Sandwiches, better with Pepsi. <sighs> Since 1965, the team at City Construction has been an industry leader in all facets of construction, shaping the West Virginia landscape with some of the most recognizable commercial projects throughout the state. As one of the largest general contractors in North Central West Virginia, our outstanding record of quality workmanship and personal service is here for your next project. Call our team of experts today. Give us the opportunity to design and build your next project. City Construction Company, West Virginia proud since 1965. Welcome you back to Mary Lou Retton Park. Fairmont Senior Polar Bears has just de defeated the Colts of Phillip Barber by nine, a 10 to one victory. We'll recap scoring for you. The first run came from Phillip Barber's Anthony Massesso in the third inning. They led 1-0, and then it flipped to the bottom of the third where Dylan Hours scored on rather odd rule. Bases were loaded. Hayden Jones popped it up. Shortstop for Philip Barber, Landon Carpenter, couldn't hang on. Infield fly rule got Hayden Jones out. However, Dylan Hours was able to come in and score. That tied the game. No score in the fourth inning. Fifth inning, bottom of the fifth, Cam Peschel. Sammy Vianney, Hayden Jones, and Brody Whitehair all come in to score. That made a 5-1 lead for Fairmont Senior. Top of the six. Phillip Barber had a chance. They saw two on with only one out. And instead of cutting into the deficit, they let it go. Stranded two base runners. Flipped to the bottom of the sixth. And again, Peschel, Vianney, Jones, they came in to score for their second time of the day. Logan Canfield came in to score as well as Brody Whitehair. That made it. 10 to 1. 
And then top of the seventh, Braden Gorby finishes the deal with 71 pitches. We'll look at the upcoming schedule for the Polar Bears of Fairmont Senior. We'll be back here on the live stream tomorrow night against the Lewis County Minutemen. And Lewis County made the state tournament a season ago. They lost to the Winfield Generals in the semifinals. And Winfield went on to beat Kaiser, who is in the Polar Bears region, in the state championship. So it should be a good one. That one starts at 7.30, a late one tomorrow night. And then the Polar Bears are back in action on Saturday. They play the Grizzlies of Nicholas County at 11 a.m. And they play at Nicholas County again at 3 p.m. against the Spartans of Greenbrier East. So a doubleheader on Saturday. We won't be there for that one as that one is in Nicholas County. So after tomorrow's game, we'll be back on Monday. The big one, East-West Baseball. That game saw the Polar Bears... Their final game a year ago in the postseason in extra innings. Weren't able to pull it off and got eliminated from postseason play. Look to redeem themselves on Monday. They also play Tuesday at Elkins. So six games in six days coming up for the Polar Bears of Fairmont Senior. We'll be back here in 24 hours for Fairmont Senior versus Lewis County. But for now, the Polar Bears of Fairmont Senior Win by nine. It's 10 to 1. The final score over Philip Barber Colts. You've been watching live streaming coverage of Fairmont Senior Polar Bear Baseball.